Hey everybody, this is the Steam Deck UI running on my television. Uh, this is Chimera OS, which is actually a community-driven um, continuation of Steam OS from back in the day. Um, ends up that you can pass a few flags to the Steam client and you can get the new Deck UI uh, on your TV. Now, I've always run a lot of BPM and the client, the older big picture mode, uh, it was you know, it was a little buggy. It was getting long in the tooth. It was clearly not as not as maintained as it used to be. Um, so you can just have the Steam Deck UI on your television. As it ends up, it's basically better than BPM ever was. So if I hit the Steam button, which is my Xbox button on my controller, you get the overlay, and you can switch between your library, or we can go to the store here. And um, obviously, this is a work in progress, so sometimes stuff doesn't uh, doesn't fit. But the UI fit properly on the um, on the TV. So this is what it looks like here. Uh, by default, it defaulted to this great on deck section, which shows me all the games that have been certified. So I installed a few of those. This is an older card. This is actually an R9 Fury, that little mini ITX thing, um, because I had an NVIDIA card. And uh, we couldn't get that to work. So I'm scrambling to find an AMD card. I have a friend that's sending me his, their RX 580 tomorrow for me to play with. There's the, ins the games I've had installed and things like that. And when you launch a game, uh, you get this nice, the artwork's a little bit different and you can hit, you can hit play there. This is where it tells you where it's compiling Vulcan shaders if you need to do that, that kind of stuff. Uh, things are fast. Um, I really like that the cloud saves now. You can um, you can force them to resync, which is really nice. So there's the game, and when you hit the Steam button, there's the overlay, you know, and it just works just like a console. And um, you can see something's missing here, like uh, you know, it doesn't actually tell you what the joystick config is. But that's where you go to the controller settings and stuff. Quit out of here. Sorry, it's hard. It's hard to record and control at the same time. So that's neat. Uh, the one thing it does do is it gets confused about the battery life. So when it boots up, it says it's at minus one percent battery. Obviously, um, this is something deck specific, so it's getting confused. And I'm uh, you know, obviously brightness um, and stuff is not working. Uh, Game Rumble works. Actually, I'm using the Xbox controller dongle which is supported in Chimera OS. So like the, uh, the, the Steam UI just doesn't really care. It gives me the, um, the Xbox glyphs for the controller and I ask on the Chimera Discord and if you hook up a PS4 controller, you'll see the PS4 uh, controls there. Bluetooth worked out of the box, um, even though I'm using the, uh, the dongle. I prefer to use that for latency reasons. And so, but pairing uh, Bluetooth uh, controller all worked. The overlay doesn't work. I think it spawns, it it uh, it spawns at a different way than we're expecting. So, um, I I thought that the friends the friends list was uh, nice, and it's actually working. The chat actually has a decent UI now that you can use on a controller. And there's that battery thing I was talking about. Uh, let's see what else. Oh, so for each individual game, uh, so in your in your uh, actually let me show this in the libraries you can just hit X. And you could show what you want to show, right? Like if you only want to see the verified and playable or if you just want to see everything. Um, so I thought that was neat. Uh, if you go into an individual game, you can, I think it's options. Oh, you hit start. And it gives you the options for each game. And then this is like where you can set your Proton version and all that kind of stuff or turn off the overlay, things like that. Um, Assassin's Creed Origins will not run on this GPU very well, so I'm not even going to try until I get a better GPU. Anyway, so what I really like about this is that it's already way better than BPM was. And, man, there's like, there's like no reason not to run this if you have a spare PC. If you have an NVIDIA GPU, it's, it's, you can't really get to this. I was able to boot into this, but when you launch a game, it tries to use GameScope, and GameScope doesn't support NVIDIA yet, so that didn't really work. But, uh, yeah, it's really nice because I'm in Q2 and I'm not going to get a Steam Deck for a while. And I think it's great that they also kind of accidentally solved the TV, which is where, what the original Steam machine was all about. And by fixing mobile, 
I'm getting a really good experience. It's already, even with the bugs, it's already way better than, uh, and performant and more reliable than uh, BPM ever was. So give it a shot. I'll put a link to Chimera OS uh, in the description. And if you want to hop in the Discord and say hello, we'd, uh, we'd love to have you. Cheers.